portrait photographer, if you have ever struggled with having to photograph a client in the rain or dealing with crummy weather conditions at a shoot, this video is gonna be super helpful to you. I'm taking you behind the scenes on a real senior session where it downpoured the entire time and showing you exactly how I navigated it to still get incredible images. Taylor and this YouTube channel is where I share education for senior portrait photographers as well as a little bit of a peek into my life living in the low country and in today's video we're talking about something that I don't know if I've ever talked about in depth on this channel and that is dealing with really crummy weather as a senior portrait photographer and how to deal with rain and crappy weather situations and reschedules and all of those things when you it's out of your control right like it's one of the biggest things that's out of our control as natural light photographers and I'm really excited to dive into it today. Before I dive in too much further, if you are here because you are someone who loves behind the scenes content and is a visual learner who really benefits from seeing things happening in real time and being a fly on the wall at a real senior session, then you are going to love the free gift that I have for you. I'm going to be linking it down in the description and you can sign up to watch a full episode of my senior scoop membership, which means you get to watch an entire senior session from start to finish and hear my real time thoughts on things like light lighting and camera settings, locations, wardrobe, posing, framing, composition, anything and everything that I do at this session, you get to see it happen and hear all of my thoughts in real time. Plus, you get to see an editing tutorial of how I edit some of my favorite images from the shoot. It's over two and a half hours of content, 100% for free, just to say thank you so much for being here. There's no catch, we've had thousands of photographers go through and watch this free episode, and I would absolutely love to have you tune in. So go ahead and snag that free gift just to say, thanks so much for being here. But without further ado, let's talk a little bit more about inclement weather and rain and how to deal with rescheduling and rainy day sessions as a senior portrait photographer. So as the title mentions, you guys are going to get to watch me photograph a senior session in the rain. It's one of the first times in my entire 11 years as a senior portrait photographer where my client didn't want to reschedule, but there was only a tiny bit of a chance of rain in the forecast. So we both thought that it was going to be totally fine and she didn't have any other availability. We pulled up to the shoot, it started raining, and it got progressively harder and harder rain for over the two hours that we were shooting, to the point that at the end, we were literally getting down poured on, and I looked like I had gone swimming. So you're gonna get to see all of that happen in real time, but before we cut to that clip, I just wanna talk a little bit about how I typically handle rescheduling in my business in terms of severe weather or inclement weather. It's a question I get a lot because as a natural light photographer, we are are at the mercy of the weather, right? If it is really windy outside, if it's raining, if it's freezing, if there's a heat advisory, all of those things are going to drastically affect the quality of the session and the images that we are able to get, and it's completely out of our control. But even though it's out of our control, it can be really frustrating to our clients and also really intimidating to us to navigate it in a way that still provides them with an amazing experience. So my general rule of thumb with rescheduling for senior sessions in the case of inclement weather is if there is a 50% chance of rain or less, I leave it up to my client. I typically reach out about 48 hours before the session. In Charleston, we're so close to the beach um, that the weather can change really quickly. So I try not to reach out more than 48 hours before the shoot uh, based on the forecast because it can change so fast. So 48 hours before the session, if the forecast is calling for a 50% chance of rain or less, I notify my client. I let them know that I'm keeping a very close eye on it and that my policy policy is to leave it up to them whether or not they would prefer to reschedule. And that if they do not decide to reschedule and it does rain, we will have to complete the session once we begin because I can't cut the session in half if it starts raining halfway through. However, if it's a 50% chance or more of rain, my policy is that I suggest or recommend that my clients reschedule. So it goes from being a ball in their court where if they have very limited availability and they still want to shoot, we absolutely can with the mutual understanding that if we get a 
sprinkle or if it starts to rain, we will have to finish the shoot in the rain. However, if it's more than a 50% chance of rain, I now recommend rescheduling. It's of my professional recommendation or opinion that it would be better to reschedule if there's a 50, 60, 70, 80, 100% chance of rain, obviously. It's going to be best to reschedule. The reason for that is because I then believe that it's more likely than not going to rain and that it could negatively impact their session. If there is a chance of storms, any like in the South, we have to worry about hurricane watches and hurricane warnings, things like that. I insist on rescheduling. Of course, if anybody is going to be in danger, if there's severe storms, that type of thing, we're really just talking about rain. So 50% chance or less, I leave it up to my client, 50% chance or more, I recommend rescheduling. And now this works pretty easily for me because I only book senior sessions on two evenings per week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I have my Mondays and Wednesdays set aside as reschedule days or backup dates for my clients. So if it's supposed to rain on a Tuesday, typically I can offer them the next day, the Wednesday, as the backup date in the case of severe weather. So if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of leniency or margin in your calendar, you might have to adjust that in order to apply this policy that, so you leave some dates open so that you always have a backup option in case of rain. But that is kind of how I handle rain across the board in my business. However, like I mentioned, for Bella's beautiful senior session in Charleston, there was a 0% chance of rain the entire week leading up to her session. However, about a a six hour window before her session was supposed to begin, it randomly started to look like on the radar there was gonna be some rain moving in. The hourly forecast still said 0% chance of rain, but when you looked at the radar and kind of played the future radar, there was rain that passed through exactly where we were going to be shooting, which was super weird. I've never had that happen before. So I reached out to her because I actually live in Savannah, Georgia. So it's a two and a half hour drive for me to get to Charleston. So before I started my drive, I reached out to her and just said, hey, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Attention. It doesn't say it's supposed to rain, but it looks like it might. Do you have any flexibility where we could move the session to another day? She absolutely didn't have flexibility. She was really stressed about wanting to be sure we got the photos done today. So I said, no problem. We are going to make it happen. However, as I continued to drive closer and closer to Charleston, it got more and more gray, borderline black clouds rolling in. We're talking like serious rain and it started to sprinkle. And then as I got closer, it started to rain a little harder. And when I pulled up for Bella's session, it was a consistent steady rain outside and it did not let up at all for her entire senior session. So I'm going to be showing you guys a clip from, it was probably about 65% of the way through her senior session. So you guys can see how I navigated this in real time because Bella knew there was a risk of rain. She wanted to shoot anyways. So our best thing that we could do, the best case scenario was to make the most out of the session, right? So a few things I always have on me just in case I had clear umbrellas in my trunk, which I just get from Amazon. I'll link them in the description. Um, and those are something that I always have on me just in case this happens. So I had those in my trunk. I also have a golf umbrella so that I can use it for myself to protect myself and my gear. And I also have a rain jacket for my camera, which I actually didn't use in this video because I'm an idiot and I forgot to get it out of my bag. But typically I have that as well to protect my camera body if I were to need it. So a couple of things that I'll link in the description just to help you in case of a rainy day shoot. But the biggest things I want you to pay attention to in this clip are how I remained positive and kept a positive tone throughout the entire shoot, how I communicated with my client about her options. Like, hey, do you want to use this umbrella? Do you not want to? What, like, you do you want to be able to tell it's raining? Do we want to not? Um, kind of talking through what her options were so that we had open communication throughout the entire shoot. And also how I navigated quick posing and quick shooting to get a ton of variety in her gallery despite the obviously not ideal circumstances happening around us. So the clip you're about to watch is actually from an episode of my Senior Scoop membership. That free gift in the description that I mentioned earlier is also from my membership, but there are clips like this every single month inside of the Senior Scoop. You get to watch an entire senior session from start to finish with this exact same structure. So members of my membership actually have already seen this clip, but I wanted to give you guys access to it on YouTube because I really think that it'll be helpful for the next time you run into this type of situation at a senior session. So let's go ahead and cut to Bella's shoot. Okay, perfect. I feel like I hear it raining pretty hard. Let me feel it. Let's do, um, how do you feel about doing them with the umbrella? Do you want to try to avoid that or do you want, would you we rather? do a few with the umbrella. Okay. But if we can do. Yeah. Without. I mean, if you're comfortable ditching the umbrella at this point and you're like, 
it's raining, that is what it is, then we can just get ditch the umbrella. I just want you to be comfortable um, and not be worried about your hair. But let me get you this. Okay, another really important part about a shoot like this where the weather isn't ideal, it's not necessarily going as you planned, is just to keep communication open with your client. Instead of just assuming that she thought the umbrella was cute like I did, I just straight up said, how do you feel about the umbrella? Because if she hates it and doesn't want it in any of her photos, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna find more covered areas, we're gonna use the, we're gonna not use the umbrella, right? However, she was like, okay, I like it some, but I definitely want some without. That is so important for me to know. So now what we're gonna do is like I mentioned earlier, kind of half of the images with and then without, and we're gonna embrace the rain. We're gonna get a little bit of rain in our hair and then we're gonna get the umbrella, walk to a new spot and do it all over again. I just think your dress is gonna be unreal with those purple flowers. So I wanna be sure we get some of that. Gotcha. So let's do some with the umbrella and then we're gonna throw it and just go really fast <laughs> um, and get a bunch, as many as we can. I unfortunately checked the radar and I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Okay. So we might go a little quick for your last two outfits, just so if it does start like torrential downpouring on us, you have everything that you could possibly need. Um, I really don't know what the heck the Charleston weather was thinking when it said 30% shades of rain, but you know what? We embraced it. Okay, we're gonna go. I just love it. They're never, they're never real. Like it's literally ever. No, in the summertime, like when we're trying to plan summer shoots where we have those like pop-up storms all the time, it's just like, it's impossible. It just does not happen. Cause the weather though, the forecast is literally always wrong. Okay, I'm gonna put you right in here. What was that? I'm surprised it's blooming. I know, this is like my favorite. I was here last week and this is like one of my favorite little sections. Um, I'm gonna drop this. Yeah, I can hold, you can hold that for me. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna just adjust a couple things now that we've moved. You stay put. Okay, these are gonna be freaking beautiful. The lighting is insane, and this outfit with the flower combination is 12 out of 10. Um, I'm gonna have you turn towards me just a smidge, and I'm gonna have you do a little ankle cross, and we're gonna kinda tuck it back on your shoulder like you did before. Yep, just like that, and let's just hold it with one hand, and your back hand can kinda sway your dress just a smidge. Yep, cute. And smile in here towards me, perfect. Adjusting two things, beautiful, love it. And then laughing over kinda almost towards where the car's parked, Perfect. I'm gonna change a couple things. Oh, move, the, move the umbrella a little bit away from your hair so it doesn't like poke into, yeah. Oh, good catch. I didn't even see that. Perfect. Cute. And then I'm gonna have you walk towards me for a few. Perfect. Oh, these are really cute. And then you're gonna do the same thing walking back towards where you came from, but you're gonna look over that shoulder towards me. Yeah, just like that. So you're gonna kind of walk like almost sideways. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Love. Okay, these are precious. And then I'm gonna come in for a couple close ups and then we'll go ahead and ditch the umbrella and just go really quick to get as much as we can. Um, I'm gonna have you tuck in here a little bit. So we're like getting some foreground in there. Okay. Even more. I know I don't want you to get too wet, but like right there. Perfect. Just like that. And then I'm gonna have you switch the umbrella to the back shoulder like we did before. Okay. And you can kind of rest it down and back. Yep, just like that. And then just kind of lift the front so I can see your face right there. And kind of drop that shoulder down just like that. Smiling right here towards me. Cute. Love. And let's do no smile. Eyes over towards where Nora is. Beautiful. And then right back here towards me. And go ahead and tilt that head in that shoulder. Beautiful. Perfect. I'm going to get one more little phone photo. And then we're going to throw um, the umbrella. <laughs> Oh, cute. Okay, and smiling right here towards me. Let's do that little foot pop, actually. Cute, love it. And then I'm gonna get a video, smiling here, then laughing over towards Nora one more time. And laughing, yeah, right back here. Oh, you're precious. Okay, and then, hold on, wait till I'm ready. That way you have minimal time. <laughs> minimal time without the umbrella. Okay, go. All right, we're gonna do like two minutes. So let's do ankles crossed. Let's sway that dress again. Perfect. Just like that. I'm gonna push a bunch of buttons to change the settings since you don't have the umbrella now. Cute, love it. And laughing over towards Nora, perfect. And then laughing right here towards me. Oh girl, these are stunning. Perfect. And then I'm gonna come a little bit more from right here and have you tuck in here just a little more. And I'm gonna have you just kind of do this pose we've done a couple times and kind of tilt your head into that hand just like that. I'm gonna adjust right here. Perfect, perfect. And just looking here towards me, beautiful. And then just kind of laughing here towards me too. Cute, oh, these are stunning. Love, love, love. And then we're gonna crouch down so we can okay. get close to the flowers without getting you wet. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna have you turn a little, knees out towards Nora just a smidge. Yeah, and if I can see your knee, that's perfect because then I can see that you have legs, perfect. And then I'm gonna have you just throw these knees, yeah, just like that, beautiful. Perfect, and kind of tilt your head in towards, yeah, just like that, gorgeous. And then just laughing up towards Nora for me. 
cute. And then I'm gonna have you slouch over so you can rest your head in your hand right there. Can you scoot any farther back without getting soaking wet? Yes. Perfect, okay, we're just trying to get the flowers as much in your face as we can to get them framed. Beautiful, and tilt your head into that hand just a smidge more. Beautiful, oh girl, these are stunning. I'm gonna come in a little closer here. Beautiful, and then just smile in here towards me. Cute, hold it just like this, perfect. Oh, love. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Go ahead and stand on up. That was a leg workout, that was impressive. Um, and we're gonna do like a full twirl. So you can come one step towards me. Oh, do you have a prom picture like that? Yeah, love it. Like okay, now it is like hyperspeed time. Y'all have thought that you've seen me shoot really quickly in the past. This is like hyperspeed. Um, I'm trying to get as much variety as I possibly can in like a 30 or 60 second window because it was raining hard enough that Nora's hair was gonna be too long gone if we let her stand there for too long. So I'm going quick, 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 as much variety as I possibly can. And then when I edited these images in the final gallery, I tried to even get creative with the cropping in the black and whites to add an even more sense of variety uh, since we had such limited time. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's do that. We're gonna do like a full twirl, kind of lapping down towards your hands instead of at the camera. I'm gonna back up just a little. Looking down at my hands. Yes, and just kind of smiling as you twirl. I'm gonna come from more of this angle. Perfect. Yep, and go ahead and just, what was that? Just the side to side. Yep, perfect. And laughing down towards those hands. And then right here towards me. Cute. All right, girl, get that umbrella back. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, and then let's go. Um, Good job, we did it. You did it. Let's go under here, see if we can't get a couple more under the coverage. Um, and then I'll go ahead and have you throw that red dress on as our grand finale. Gotcha. Did you guys officially nix the baseball game? We might go. We might go. We might just go pick up McDonald's and. Oh, that sounds like a mood too. Yeah, like, just like get. get some fries and nuggets. And Ooh, yeah, like a large fries. fry. I'm to my house, change my clothes so I don't show up in like a full, like. Oh, I think you should go just like that and just like embrace it. Like, just go for it. The whole baseball team will be like, what's going like, on? Like, what is she doing? Oh, um, she's really celebrating us tonight. Yeah, she like really wanted to impress us. Um, get like, I actually, let's do the umbrella a couple more because it looks really cute. Okay, we're gonna do one more little, um, let's do like a little twirl kind of with your umbrella and just for the sake of a, an Instagram. Um, cute and smiling here towards me. Okay, you're precious. Love. Okay, and then we're gonna do that again for the camera. Okay. A real one, because that was really cute. Perfect, yeah, I just kind of tilt that umbrella up so I can see your cute face. Beautiful. Perfect, do that twirl one more time. Cute. And then laughing towards Nora, like over towards your shoulder. Cute. Okay, and then I want to believe you're gonna be covered there a little bit by that tree, so let's go ahead and ditch the umbrella for just a couple more. Are you covered a tiny bit? Yeah, I'm covered a tiny bit. Okay, move wherever you need to. I'd, I'd love to have you in the middle if we can. See if there's like a chunk somewhere that'll cover you. Okay, we might just, okay, perfect. So let's do, we're just gonna do this. Let's do that sway one more time. So you have the option without the umbrella. Cute. I'm gonna get one like this too. Perfect, love, love, love. And then I'm gonna have you turn like you're gonna walk away from me and let's do just like this and do like a sway like that. Good catch. Uh, just a little step so you have that little bend. Yep. Oh girl, this is so pretty. It looks like you're walking into like your casual secret garden. This is so pretty. And then eyes over towards Nora, we'll do no smile for one. And then eyes right here towards me with no smile. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did it go like right in your eye? Love when that happens. And then eyes right here towards me. Perfect, and then smiling right here. Perfect girl, okay, grab that umbrella. Let's go ahead and get your red dress on. So I hope it was helpful for you to tune in and see how I navigated this session in real time in some of the final images that we were still able to get as a result despite the nasty weather. If you found that helpful and you want more content like that because you are a visual learner who really benefits from seeing behind the scenes, the link is in the description to get that free lesson from the Senior Scoop where you can watch an entire session from start to finish plus an editing tutorial of some of my favorite images. Would love to have you snag that would also be so grateful to have you subscribe to the channel and I so appreciate you tuning in until next time bye